this is still really close. I need to make these frags happen right now, but you can kind of see the frustration of him not finding any players from Q2. Yeah. Nobody wants to play with me. Nice shock and work by Waz. Needing to go in against Scooby. He's being aggressive here. Maybe a little bit too aggressive for his own peril, and Scooby will pull him down one more time. And again, that lead remains roughly at 20. And there has been nothing that CI has been able to put together in the last five minutes that has really shortened that gap. Finally, some rails strung together by Plague. Shooting currently about 50% rail. We'll uh, you know, slowly bring it together, but then slowly extend it by Scooby. So, you know, I, bring, oh, I just saw another pummel, and I think that was Q2 getting yet another pummel. Uh, was that against Waz? I don't know. Oh, it's, it's not looking good. That's a nice reel from Scooby. Oh, nice oh, Wow. <laughs> And so, actually, you can see there in the scoreboard, you know, Scooby was exiting low and right from that red armor, but DeHang came in from the top and with that MG uh, did some more damage. So even there, you know, we didn't see a situation where it was like two on one against Scooby for very long whatsoever. We we still saw DeHang coming in just at the last second, but still uh, making the damage done and keeping that from being a lopsided situation. Plague is going to be getting third quad in a row, though. But still, the... Uh, yeah, but... You know, it hasn't he's, been getting very far. Yeah, he's never been getting, getting out getting with any sort of, of health. So it, it's never really a quad run. And with one minute left to go, I think we can say that Q2 has this one. Uh, because the the frag deficit is it's still pretty large. 50% rockets for DeHang, 38. Rail, 32 LG. Very solid play. As we would expect from a, uh, from a champ. Scooby. 37 rail, 26 LG, 44 rocket. But uh, if we take a look at the, at the K's and D's, they're about even, to be quite honest, for both. I mean, that, that's really impressive. Um, how evenly they're, they're splitting their depths and their frags. Very nice. Waz? Waz himself is uh, rocking 40% rail, 26 LG, 49 rocket. His teammate Plague. 47 LG, 20 LG, I mean, it's rather 47 rail, 20 LG, and 42 rocket. And uh, that'll wind it down. There we have it. Two pummels for it to hang. One pummel for Scooby. One pummel for Plague. Very nice. <laughs> we saw a lot of pummels tonight. A lot. <laughs> we did. Jeez. I was not expecting to see so much fisting in one night, but... We do see a great debut from Clan Q2 here on Quake Night, and I am just really expecting more from them, and I would not be dismayed at all to see them go all the way. I, I think that they will, to be honest. I really do. <laughs> so. Alright, so... Yeah, uh, Quake Night is just got to be one of those leagues where, you know, we do get to see some 2v2 TDM love, which is, I'm sure we can all admit, a game mode which has not been receiving due attention. Uh, and now, uh, Sir Dark, do you have any final words for the night? Well, just a great job on the casting by you guys. It's great that the team showed up as they did, and hopefully we'll be able to bring some more action next week uh, with some more competition of of the skill level. Yeah, and seriously, it, it's got to be, it, it's got to be divine inter intervention that I was able to get here so late and still managed not to miss any of the Q2 <laughs> games. It was just like, ah, oh, yes, yes, you are not divine, bro. <laughs> wow, had to throw in the Q2 clan reference. Like, like <laughs> five people got that. Five. It's all right. It's okay. Doesn't I matter. was one of them. <laughs> Clamp okay approves with you. I didn't expect to see that much fisting in one night. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. So I, I think that we'll, we'll call it a night, but uh, we will have either King of the Hill or All Your Base on Wednesday. That should be good stuff. And uh, Jahar, do you guys have anything specific to... Uh, Tasty Spleen Tasty cast that you've got coming up? Oh, holy shit. Um, 
We should be seeing some more War South stuff uh, later this week as well, as I hear a word from that. Uh, yesterday, actually, we got to see a lot of really great uh, Quake World 4v4. I'll be posting those VODs up on the site tonight, uh, probably after I get some more snacky dues, but Cheetos actually sound really good. Maybe I am mm -hmm. high, but yeah, actually, <laughs> a lot of really great content coming out of there. Great Warsaw, uh, Quake World as well, um, and actually this Saturday, we're going to need to figure out um, Quake America or, or Warsaw, because there was some confusion with Saturday. I just said, you know what, I could use a day off, so I didn't do, end up doing anything Saturday. But I am, I, I think I did see some other streamers covering Quake America, didn't we? Okay. I don't know, dude. Maybe. You don't know? Okay, you took the night off too? Alright, so we're, we'll be figuring that one out, and we'll be letting you all know as soon as we have coverage details. But, hey, that's what we do, that's what we love doing. This has been QuakeLive.TV. Greased, as always, being the lovely, lovely, like, Vanna White lovely, even. Oh, I wonder how you would look at that shiny dress. Anywho, thanks for being here tonight. Thank you for casting. And actually, also, be sure you head over to the forums to give us some feedback on the own 3D uh, broadcasting setup, which we might be wanting to stick with, depending on how it goes. It's all up to you guys. We all try to cater to you guys. We are whores for you guys, and we just want to make you all happy, because we love Quake, we love seeing it, and we love exposing it out there, getting the word out, getting more players, and expanding the community. Because when it comes down to it, that's what it's all about. Yeah, we sure love exposing ourselves to you guys. Damn it, uh, I wasn't going to do it. Yeah. Altered airwaves, Jahar? Hmm? Uh, yeah, actually. Um, tomorrow, uh, Tuesdays have kind of turned into the podcast smorgasbord with altered airwaves, followed by the quadcast here on QLTV, and I have to make another damn quadcast uh, the Quake America banner because of that. But altered airwaves this week should actually have some pretty sweet uh, innovations because we do have a full Linux port for Clean Code Quake 2 now, and that is also, you know, it, for those of you who don't know, it's Quake 2 and C++ being really modular. And so far we've seen Peril just toying with thing, things like IRC from Quake 2 uh, and a lot of just extra little nifty toys like that. But this is a beginning, hopefully, of a new era for Q2. Sweet. All right. Well, I think on that we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. I want to say thank you to my co-host Jahar and earlier in the evening TGM. And uh, thanks to Sir Dark for putting together some really great matches for us tonight and uh, it was nice to see what Scooby and DeHang had put together and if it was, truly was DeHang's like literally getting off the plane and starting to play the matches that we watched him play, I hope that he goes and gets a nice long night's sleep so uh, have yourselves a uh, have yourselves a good night